Grace Blurs is a culmination of a dream I shared with my mom. She would grow beautiful blooms in her garden in our backyard, and she'd bring them in and just put these like really intricate bouquets together. And we, you know, thought they were great, but of course she put them on the kitchen table. Um, one day, my dad encouraged her to, you know, bring them down to the local grocery store. And um, so four kids in tow in the car with all the beautiful flowers, we went in and presented them to the store owner. And he said, wonderful, these are beautiful. He's like, Easter's around the corner, let's do 200. And you know, we were shocked. We were like, oh no, we're not a florist. Okay, we're gonna figure this out. Well, now the hard work started. We really weren't sure what to do. And I was so young, I was probably 11 or 12 at the time. And of course my mom thought, well, okay, I, I'm not gonna have enough flowers in my garden, so we're gonna have to go to the Boston Flower Market. Of course, we didn't really know what that was. We, we thought, okay, we'll, we'll drive down to Boston. And I walked in and I was like, wow, now this is some flowers. It was just magical. I can't really put words to how beautiful it was, but it just changed my life. And I guess I was my mom's sidekick. I was the one probably enamored with flowers as much as she was. But again, I was like 10, 11, 12 years old. And at the time, my mother also was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I think it was just something that really bonded us and that I could see the beauty that she saw. And I kind of was like, you know, the real true meaning of flowers behind all of this. So it just became a higher, more spiritual thing between us. In my early 20s, I had the opportunity to live in Paris. How great, how fun. And I was living there as a professional figure skater. Um, most of my shows were in the evening. So during the day, I had a lot of free time. And my mom, of course, would be so curious of all the other shops in Paris, what they were doing, what kind of designs they were styling. And secretly, I kind of liked it. I thought it was so fun to go into these beautiful flower shops have this vision of maybe one day what our shop could look like. After about a year of reporting back, and of course, I had to call my mom every single Sunday and report back to her what these French flower shops were doing. I think living on the road as a figure skater it was getting you know, hard on my body. I was becoming super homesick, and at that time, my mom um, was re-diagnosed with another tumor. I think it was my sign to come home. When I came back from Paris, I really, we both really weren't too sure what the next step would be. We would go to her cancer um, chemo treatments and talk about, you know, someday opening a store, you know, could it happen? Was she too sick? Was it the timing right? We really weren't sure, you know, we would really hope and we were excited about the dream and I thought, you know, maybe this would give my mom that extra strength or the extra push to say let's do it and you know maybe I secretly thought it would cure her and I really dreamed hard prayed hard to open that store and we found a spot on a street in Andover a little side street which was adorable and it kind of had a little European flair and I would say to my mom we're gonna do this and we're gonna that. And we were so excited to do it and just, again, not too sure if it was ever gonna to come to fruition. And we signed the lease and we signed it for a whole year. And I said to my mom, we're doing it, we're doing it. And unfortunately, um, she just got too sick and passed away a month later and never was able to see the store. It broke my heart, but I do know she gave me that passion to continue on. So after my mom died, it was really hard. I wasn't too sure what the next step would be, but I knew I had to market the business in order to continue and to thrive. I decided to sign up for my first bridal show. I created bouquets just like my mom did 30 years ago, printed business cards with my name on it. And in the spirit of my mom, I think she was kind of watching over me because that day I booked 38 weddings. The dream of Les Fleurs began a long time ago. Look how far we've come. Mom, this is my tribute to you. Mm -hmm.